What an honor to be here. For those of you that don't know me, my name is Marvin Minas. The director here for FC Scorpions. Um, this club was founded many years ago. Uh, to be precise, the year 2009. Alex Gomez, the president right behind me, you know, he had a vision, he had a dream, just like many of us do, right? All of us that have gone to school, we've all learned about Martin Luther King. He had a vision, he had a dream, the old, right? And that dream that he had was to start a football academy, right? But just not a football academy anywhere. He wanted to start a football academy for this city, for this area, for these kids. And we look back now, we're in 2024, 15 years later, and to see the amount of kids that we have here, the amount of families that support us, I would say this vision, this dream, has come into realization. But it's because of you guys. But now we have to start thinking higher. Now we have to start thinking at a higher level. Today we're going to honor the 2006 boys and girls teams. We're going to talk about that. We're going to talk about the club. We're going to talk about why we're here and what we're doing. My story started in 1980. I was born at the Queen of Angels Hospital on Rampart, off my favorite hamburger place called Thomas. Born and raised there. Now I live in the La Mirada Whittier area. The reason I tell this to you is because my family was just like many of your parents. Many of your grandparents. My parents immigrated from, here, from Peru in 1970. They did all the jobs that many of your parents, many of our parents do. They're washing cars. They're taxi people. But the one thing they put in my head, the one thing that always stuck in my head, was education. From a young age. I was told I got to get straight A's, and I got it. In high school, I was told I needed to get a 4.0, and I got it. I knew I had to go to a university. I graduated from USC back in 2001. I went on, continued my education, and my goal everybody is to get one of these. This is my master's that I got. And the reason I show all you parents and all the kids here is because this is the expectation. This is why we're here. This is why we're here training. Because this is more valuable than anything. This allows you the opportunity to get a great job, to get a home, to do the things that you all envision. For that reason, I show this to you. The old sixes are gonna be going to college. Some are going to universities. Some are going to city colleges. And it doesn't matter how you get them. What matters is that you do. I went from high school to the university. That's one route. We can go high school, city, college, university. That's another route. Can you get to the same place? Absolutely. There's many different ways. But for all you young little kids here, all you five-year-olds, six-year-olds, seven-year-olds, we got to start from a young age. We got to do well. We got to do well in school. It doesn't matter if mom and dad motivate us or not. You gotta be motivated. For you young ladies that are going to college, for our older kids or older boys going to college, this is your last chance. You gotta do well. There is no more second chances. This is your one chance now. We all have visions, man. We all want a car. Like I said, we want that house. You want to go on those vacations, but you got to work hard. We recently started something called the Scorpion Scholars. Well, we're going to have another ceremony like this in about a month to 
honor these kids that are doing well academically. In five years, my goal is that when we have a ceremony, that I'm going to say that every kid here is going to UCLA, USC, UC Irvine, Cal State LA, Cal State Long Beach, Loyola Marymount. That is my vision. And we got to start somewhere. Back to my old sixes. Many of them are going to go play college soccer. And that's awesome. What I want you guys to realize is that this is an opportunity for you guys to get a scholarship to go play at a university. And there is no other second chance. But if you don't do well in school, that chance is gone. And I want this to stick in your heads. you got to get straight A's if you want that scholarship. It doesn't matter how good you are. You have to do well in school. And again, I'll reiterate that that is my message for everybody. In school, football is a dream. We all want to be footballers, man. We all want to be professional. We all want to be Messi. We all want to be Ronaldo. But everybody works hard. Right now, in Brazil, in Portugal, in England, there are kids putting five, six hours on the field. It's a lot of sacrifice. It's a lot of work. And what if we don't get a scholarship? Right? What if we don't get that? Then I gotta rely on my education. Because my school's gonna get me somewhere. So, parents, I thank you for supporting your kids. Thank you for bringing them here. They're at a special place here. We're not only working on developing your kids as a football player, we're also here to develop them as a student. And there is no other club, I'll repeat that, no other club, not Strikers, not Pats, not TFA, no other club is going to emphasize academics the way we are. When somebody asks you, why are you good? I ask them, what makes you special? What makes you unique, guys? What makes you different? When they say you're part of Scorpions, we're different because we care about the school part. We care about the football part as well, too. But again, I want everybody here to graduate and get that degree. That's why I'm here, okay? Thank you once again for being here. I'm gonna go ahead and introduce our president who has sacrificed immense amounts of money, time, everything we can think of you know he's a great guy when he approached me one day i saw what his vision was and i said yes i want to be a part of that so a round of applause to our uh, our president here. he was talking about when i started i started recreation we went we went to go play at whittier Actually, I just went to go train my daughter at a park, and then I started getting all kinds of parents for me to train the kids. After that, it just started growing, and we got, went pretty big. I left for a little bit to go learn how to, the, to train the right way, to understand the process, the good way. And luckily, that's where Coach Ernesto, we partnered up. My wife believed in me. She, she was with me the whole time. And you know, she consults me, and it's a lot. It came, we came, we started from nothing, and now we're 22 teams up, and now we're competing. Now, 100% of our kids go to college, both, both boys and girls. So, for that. so much but you could never do it by yourself for that you need a lot of support and you need the right people the people that want to be here and you know when i started we started just one two team managers get like lupe getting like four or five teams and then uh you know she was helping me grow and she was there you know 
until we started getting more managers, more coaches, more everything. Um, I'm extremely, extremely grateful with all my team managers. I wish I could name them all, but thank you all team managers. I Seriously, it's, nothing could be done without you guys. All the coaches that have been part of us has started with me. You know, when I first started scoring with with Coach Ernesto, Big part of our uh, 